Today, we're, we will think about making a parrot to go with your bird cage that you drew last week. These handouts are just to spur on the idea of the parts that are needed to create your bird. So you will need to think about the size of the bird and the color that you, you will make your bird. Using the color wheel, decide whether you're gonna go with cool colors or warm colors. And these are some of the warm ones, red, yellow, and orange. And of course there's cool blue, green, and purple. Or if you wanna go with the primary colors, red, yellow, blue, or the secondary colors, orange, green, and purple. You'll need to pick one of these color families and stick with it while you make your bird. Using your bird cage to remind you of how big you'll want your bird to be and the strips of paper, the bird will need to be about the size of your hand. If you look at the handout, you will see that most of the bodies of the bird are an oval. So take a pencil and lightly sketch an oval onto that paper and then double check that it, that it is about the size of your hand before you begin cutting. Cut carefully out the shape saving your scraps you will use the scrap to make parts of the bird so just pile up your scraps off to the side now we'll work on the head the head is kind of a circle shape it doesn't have to be perfectly round but a circle shape and again you cut it out saving the scraps and you're going to build the bird piece by piece. The tail feathers that hang down kind of long, that is a C shape, kind of a backward C shape or a crescent shape. And you see how I'm sketching that using that piece tucked on, up underneath, I'm sketching that C shape and then I cut it out. So again, it's kind of a backward C or a crescent shape. The layers on the top wing, I'm using the pattern of the wing to figure out how big to make it. And then I'm doing it again. I'm using it as a pattern. And then I can make the different layers of the wing if you want to add some little detail like that. Same thing with the scrap pieces for some of the extra tail feathers. I'm using one that's kind of a crescent shape and then the head I'm using it to trace to figure out how big to make the little shape around the eye and then the beak I lay it out and I trace kind of a curved shape of the parrot's beak the details you just use your scrap paper and keep working through part by part. I did not glue anything yet. I'm adding all the pieces first. It's like a puzzle. You're laying out all the pieces to get your game plan.